time to dish with D. That's me. This is a quick little different video I have coming at you today. I see this all over the World Wide Web and here on YouTube especially, and I thought I'd just share it with my subscribers. This is if you don't have access to get a decent face mask and you feel scared because I think now it's going to be mandatory to wear one out. Here's one I saw and I thought I'd share with you. If you have a sock, you can make a face mask, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. So you get your sock and you spray. You know, any kind of sock usually will do. I'm not really the best at this because, again, I'm just learning. So, you get your scissors and you cut off the toe. And you could measure. It might be more accurate. We'll do that. And then we're going to cut across the top here. And these are clean socks. Old, but a clean sock. So, it looks like this. Okay, we're going to put it back down. We're going to smooth it out. We're going to put two cuts, not going all the way through, on each end. They're for the ears. See, I didn't go all the way down. I just did about, I'd say a third of the way. And then you open it up. These are your ear holes. And you flip it around. Now, what you could put in here is up to you and what you have. Some people put a piece of paper towel, just fold it in thirds, and lay it here. I also have a coffee filter, and you could place it in here, like this. You take it up, place it over your, I can take the glasses off, place it over your face, then you could, you could absolutely tuck this down or cut it to size so it's not really but it's up to you tuck this over and tuck it down and voila you have a face mask what i would do is if when i come home you take it off dump the filter or the paper towel in the trash and then put this in a bag wash it or if you have enough socks you can just throw it away that's up to you but like i said if you don't have a filter you could also use, like I said, a piece of paper towel. It gives you a filtering technique. You also could use a vacuum bag if you have one. I only had a couple, so I didn't really want to waste a vacuum bag because they have filtered in bags. You absolutely could use that, and you could use this paper towel. That's why when you go into the store, you're protected somewhat, and the person who you're with is protected. Now, you could do, like I said... You could probably use a sweat sock, a longer tube sock. You would just have to cut more down. I would suggest measuring between ear to ear, so knowing how much sock you need. That might be the best bet. But I had fun with this, and I made about 10 of them. Again, we have, who doesn't have tons of old socks? So, again, you can actually throw these away after you've been out, because, hey, I don't want to wash these. These might have COVID-19 on them. So you could just pitch it. Remember, don't touch it. When you remove your mask, it's very important. When you remove your mask, to remove it, and to throw it away. You don't want to touch anything in the front of the mask. But that's a quick little tutorial. Like I said, I've done several. Just to have something quick, because like I said, if you don't know somebody that makes masks and you're afraid to go out because we do need to get things and you want to feel protected, is it 100% effective against the virus? I don't think so, but I think it's a barrier and it helps protect the person from you and a little bit from you from the person, especially when you put a filter in it. I think it definitely helps, but it's better than nothing, I always say. So thank you for joining me in this quick little mask making tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. If you think anybody would like to see this tutorial, please share it if you like. I personally would appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. We will dish another day.